Tonight on The Secret Life of the Brain. Emotions and the adult brain. Why do we have these emotions? What are they for? There's no empathy or sympathy. He just can't get that feeling. Deadness, terror, distorted time. I did not want to live. Tonight, the emotional brain. Major funding for The Secret Life of the Brain is provided by the National Science Foundation, America's investment in the future. Funding is also provided by... At Pfizer, we're spending nearly $5 billion looking for the cures of the future. We have 12,000 scientists and health experts who firmly believe the only thing incurable is our passion. Pfizer. Life is our life's work. The Medtronic Foundation on behalf of Medtronic. Providing lifelong solutions for people with chronic disease. Medtronic, when life depends on medical technology. The Park Foundation. Dedicated to education and quality television. The Dana Foundation the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, and by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you. I wake to sleep and take my waking slow. I feel my fate and what I cannot fear. I learn by going where I have to go. We think by feeling. What is there to know? I hear my being dance from ear to ear. I wake to sleep and take my waking slow. I learn by going where I have to go. The adult brain, crowned by the cerebral cortex. A wrinkled mass of tissue, just a fraction of a centimeter thick. Within its furrows lie our powers to reason, judge, understand. But buried beneath is an unconscious underworld. A cluster of structures that drives our appetites, moods, and emotions. For a long time, it was thought the brain was divided into two. Emotion was one thing, and thought was something else. And these were two things that were interfering with each other. But it's now clear that this division was wrong, just completely wrong. There's a highly choreographed, hardwired relationship between the thinking areas of the brain and the feeling areas of the brain. One affects the other at all times. It is not possible to have a properly working reason system without having a properly working emotion system. What you think, what you create, the problems you solve, the way you reason, don't exist in a vacuum. There is always the backdrop of emotion and feeling. We are not thinking machines. We are feeling machines that think.
it's been 23 years since he suffered the stroke. It was just horrible. I just felt like I had totally lost my best friend. I wanted to bring him back to the person that he was, but, you know, in reality, I should have known I couldn't. The doctor said to me, the best thing to do is to actually have a funeral for Marvin, the one that you marry, and accept the Marvin that you brought home as a totally different person, because he'll never be the same. At 56, Marvin Bateman is a shadow of the young husband and father he once was. A stroke has left him paralyzed on one side of his body. But its most devastating impact is less visible. He has been cut off from his emotions. So how did that make you feel when we were watching it? Well, it's, um, I don't know. It's, it's, well, it's hard. I'm trying to think. It's like, I, I know you're working for a word, but I can't think of one no, right it's now. okay. At the University of Iowa, researchers are trying to understand why Marvin cannot feel a simple emotion like fear. scan shows the stark region where Marvin's brain has died. The core of the damage is in areas that have to do with creating a feeling. It's not that he has lost the ability to produce an emotion. The losses have more to do with the ability to feel the emotions that he produces. <laughs> 